Hey guys, welcome back to Prepping with Sarge. Today we are going to review the Wazoo Survival Gear Cash Cap. Stay with me now. Alright, welcome back, welcome back. Thank you so much to Wazoo Survival Gear for sending me this cash cap to review for my viewers. This is a one of their products. Wazoo is a Wazoo Survival Gear is a great, great company. They make a lot of products for the survival, preparedness, outdoor, hiking, camping community. And this is no ordinary baseball cap, my friends. This actually has a lot of secret compartments and hidden ca hidden cash pockets in here. We're gonna show you what to do with it because they actually sent me a survival kit, well, an everyday essentials kit to go inside. So we're gonna put all of this inside here. And after we're done playing around with the Everyday Essentials kit here, uh, I'm gonna show you some other possible uses for the Wazoo Survival Gear Cash Cap. All right, so let's take a look what they sent us here. So if you were to pick 10 items that you were gonna go out into the wilderness, go camping, hiking, you absolutely would wanna have some cordage in there. And cordage is one of those things, yes, we can, we can probably find some stuff in the wilderness and we could probably you know, bushcraft some cordage out of certain vines and things like that. It's a whole lot, it's very, very time consuming and labor intensive. It's a whole lot easier to just have some cordage with you. All of my bags have cordage in them. This is a very good idea to have some to put into your cash cap. Let's take a look, find a spot for that. Looks like we got a roll of duct tape. Uh, duct tape pretty much fixes everything, <laughs> except for maybe a few things, but duct tape is absolutely, or maybe that's Gorilla Tape. Let's see if I can get a close up on it for you. Okay, so it's got the, um, it, it's more like a Gorilla Tape. It's got the uh, uh, quad stitching in there, which holds up a little bit better. So that's really nice. And that will go nicely. We have a couple um, zip ties. Now all of my bags, my get home bag, my uh, bug out bag, all have S binder clips in there. But if I didn't have those with me for some reason, sure would be nice to have this. Can attach some gear to your belt loops, all kinds of fun little things that you could do. You know, uh, maybe I'm, I'm out there in the wilderness and I'm walking around and I somehow got separated from my group, but I find some useful edibles. You know, I can make a makeshift bandana if I don't have the forging bandana with me and tie it to my belt with some zip ties. What else do we got? Oh, okay. This is a, this is a little water bag. Um, these are called you know, mini ranger bands. Basically, it's the same material that's used in bicycle tubing. Uh, and these are really handy, too, for attaching gear. But let's see if we can take this apart and put it back together. Uh, this looks like it's a little water bag, which is water is absolutely essential if you are in a wilderness survival situation. Look at that. Look at that. Is that a full quart? Let's see. Okay, that's pretty handy to have. And this looks like this is some um, sodium chloride, sodium dichloride, di I can't pronounce that, you guys can read it. This is uh, water purification, all right? Very, very nice, very, very nice. So basically you remove this, drop into the, the bag filled with water, and you should let that sit for about four hours. After about four hours, it's ready to drink. All right, and this is why you always take out your kit and test it. I actually wanted to make sure it actually folded up. I didn't get it exactly right, but uh, it folded up nice, so that will just about right to the same size that when I unboxed it. Um, you gotta play with your kit, because you just never know. Sometimes you take something out and you play with it and you, you're not sure. All right, and that, my friends, is about 40 feet of fishing line. Let's see if I can get the camera to grab it. I am not going to take that out of the tubing because I know for sure I will not be able to get that back in there. Now, of course, I could wind it up in a different way, but I'm not going to take that out. All right, and then let's see what we have in here. Okay, first up, we have a survival whistle. Let's, let's give this a try. Pretty loud. My dog probably did not like that. Uh, is this Tinder? This looks like Tinder. Let's take a look. Let's see here. This kind of shows you what's in bag. Now there is a there is another kit that you can get that includes this material over here. Okay. 
Okay, yes, these are fire plug tenders. Uh, we'll take these out and test these another day, but basically you like you break it apart and your fingers and fluffing out, fluff it up. Uh, I will show you this another day. I, I think I was gonna work on some fire starting videos anyways, so we're gonna save that, but that's what those are. Oh, this is awesome. This is one of their ferrocium rods. All right, and I took the camera outside for a minute just for safety. I separated the ferrocium rod from the ceramic striker. Now the Wazoo Survival Gear does make a necklace that is similar to this. Uh, I have reviewed that in a shorts review that you can check out in my shorts and vertical stories section. But just to give you an idea here, this is a really nice piece of kit and along with uh, water and cordage, one of the critical pieces of things you would wanna have throughout the wilderness. So I'll just give this a quick few strikes here. All right, so that is the fire seam rod and the ceramic striker. Very, really, really nice piece of kit to have in there. To be able to store it in a uh, cash cap, a baseball cap, is just awesome. The last little thing here is I'm not going to open this tube today, but inside here you've got a little fishing kit to go along with the fishing line. Uh, you've got a couple hooks, you've got a couple sinkers, some weights, and also a couple safety pins, which can be used to, you know, hold something together if you have a bad tear in your in your clothes while you're moving through the wilderness and a magnetized needle. I will show you in a future video how to use a magnetized needle to make a compass. Okay, short version if you wanna know how to do this before I can get to making that video. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take that magnetized needle and you're gonna thread it gently, gently, gently through some kind of cork or otherwise uh, lightweight material that's capable of floating, has some buoyancy to it, and you're gonna put it in a cup of water and hold it very, very still. The magnetized needle will, uh, the pointy end, uh, if you magnetize the pointy end, will float towards the north, and that's how you do that. Now, this one, I'm just gonna, this did not come with the essentials kit, but I'm going to add it to mine. This is also serving as a double function. Uh, because this one has been heavily, heavily soaked in some lovely Woodford Reserve bourbon. This is also a, a pretty decent fire starter. All right, let's go ahead and start putting stuff in the secret cache pockets. And let's start with the zip ties here. And we're just going to go ahead and put those in here in the first pocket here that kind of folds down like that. And we're just going to fold it and that's that's fine all right let's take this water water bag and water purification tablets there's a little pocket in here we're going to try and put those in there and see if that fits nicely and it's got a little hook and loop closure that should hold just just fine i'll tuck it in a little bit more give it a little stretch there we go all right and again visibility you can't really tell that there's anything stashed there Okay, whoops, give those a little more tuck. All right, now let's take our cordage, one of our most important pieces of kit. Let's see if I can fit it right in here. There's a pocket that goes, there's a pocket that goes right there. See that with my fingers? Perfect. All right, whoops, I'm gonna have to work with those and just kinda get them used to. I think if I wear that, those those will stay a little bit better, those little uh, zip ties. All right, now we got our uh, duct tape or uh, quad, quad stitch Gorilla Tape, whatever it is. That's going to go in here. Let's see if that'll fit in that little pocket there. I don't know if you guys can see that. We're going to bend it just a little bit. Look at that. Perfect. It's like it was made for it, right? All right. Now, these guys here, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them all back in the little bag along with the cork, and that's just going to make things easier. This here I'll, I'll keep out separate, of course. If you're enjoying this, please consider subscribing. And like I said, I'm going to be doing more reviews and showing you some product testing with these fire starters, some different things I have coming. Love to have you join the channel. If you've enjoyed my content so far, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Let's put this, let's see if it'll go right there in that side pocket. Give a little bit of a fold here. Perfect. Look at that. 
Folks, there's actually still room in here, though, these zip ties. <laughs> All right, there's actually still room in here and you could move things around. Like if those zip ties are, aren't gonna stay, I could put them in here. I could fold them and put them in here. There's all kinds of different ways you can do this. So there's actually still room in here. Let's throw this fishing line in the top, top little bill right there. Look at that. We have a whole little mini survival kit in this hat. And there's actually still a little bit of room. I could add a few more things, which I'm gonna show you there. Stay with me. Okay, I'm gonna show you some different ways you could use this cap. All right, now, I think I'm gonna do this in a whole separate video, but I'm gonna show you how you could do a pretty decent little first aid kit that would be completely uh, enclosed in, in your cap, right? But just to kind of give you some ideas, you know, you could throw in some, some Band-Aids up front here. Let's take, let's take the water bag out for a minute. We could throw some Band-Aids in here, right? And we could get some uh, of those little tubes, the mini, you know, the little mini squeeze tubes, or you can make them. Actually, I can show you another video how to do that with some straws, basically putting some antibiotic ointment. We can throw that up in here. Let me take the fishing line out for a minute. So we could throw that up behind here. Uh, we could throw in some burn cream in some of those tubes. I'm gonna show you how to do all this in a different video. I think that that will be later this summer, but I think that'll be a fun little project to show you how to do fully encapsulated. I could have some gauze, fully encapsulated um, mini first aid kit. Or actually, not a mini, it'd be a pretty decent first aid kit. I could throw some ibuprofen and aspirin uh, in little containers and throw those up here. There's all kinds of cool stuff with it. So that, that's one example you can make it into a first aid kit. Let's take those band-aids out. All right, so what's missing from that survival kit? Well, every good survival kit has to have something to cut with, some kind of cutting tool. So I'm gonna show you how to make one that will actually very, very lightweight that you could put into your cap, right? So we're gonna take, we're gonna take, this is from a box of parchment paper, right? And all of your, you know, aluminum foil, things like that, you have these little saws. See, how, is, it, is the camera getting that? Yeah, so you have these little saws. So what we're gonna need, we just need a little strip of this, right? So we're gonna cut a piece of strip of this. All right, so we have that little piece of saw there, and then we're just gonna fold that. You're gonna cut that box in a way so you've got a little lip to fold over. Now, we're gonna add one more little piece to this kit. Hang, hang on with me, stay with me now. So that's got your little, uh, now obviously, now, obviously, you're not going to saw down any tree branches with that, but there are, you know, you might maybe you're going to make some cordage out in the wild, things like that. All right, now we're going to take a razor blade. We're going to add a little razor blade to this. Be very, very careful when you're handling your razor blades, of course. All right, so we're going to take our razor blade. Now we have our, our straight edge uh, cutting utensil, which is also very, very lightweight, right? So I'm just going to add that in there, okay? And then I've got another piece of that same box. Just gonna cover it up, right? So this way, when you put it in your hat, there's gonna be no way that you cut yourself. All right, so I'm gonna cut this even. Okay, so I've got a sawtooth and a straight edge in here now. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of orange electrical tape, which I can also use when I'm out on the, on the trail to mark a branch. You know, this is very high vis, so I can use this as trail markers. And if I'm trying to figure out, am I going in the right direction? If I come across and, you know, I'm trying to backtrack or see, did I already pass this way? So this is all I'm going to do here, right? Be very, very careful because you got sharp edges in there, but this is going to protect it. Once you do this, it's pretty safe that you can put in your hat. All right, you get the idea. Now look at all this electrical tape I've got too for, for, multi, for not just marking uh, different areas, but not just marking my trail, but if I needed something that had just, if I needed electrical tape for some reason. All right, there you go. So this, where could this go? Well, that's gonna fit right in there. There you go. Now you've added a cutting utensil, actually two, to your survival kit all within a baseball hat. All right, last one here. Let's uh, just kind of think outside the box a little bit, right? So uh, not that I would encourage anybody to break any laws, but let's say, let's kind of say fantasy land, right? That you are living outside. Let's say you're, uh, that things have gotten really bad and you're living in like a real bad war zone, right? And you're just trying to get your family out to safety. The, uh, you know, if you, if you're, if you understand some of the concepts of survival, one of the basic concepts of survival is to get off the X. In other words, get out of the danger zone. Now, if you ever read, uh, Fernando Furfell, Aguirre's, uh, The Coming Collapse and his, his books on surviving and escaping from Argentina during the total economic collapse. 
I'm paraphrasing here. I'm paraphrasing here, but one of the things that he says is something to the extent of there's very few problems in, in life that a few gold coins and a stack of cash can't get you out of, right? So maybe you're trying to, maybe it's, it's like a World War II situation, right? I'm thinking, you know, again, survival. I'm not talking about breaking laws, right? But maybe it's a World War II situation and you're trying to cross the border and not, you know, carry all kinds of bags and stuff with you. Well, a few gold coins are worth, can, can be traded into any, any local currency anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world, right? So let's say that you were, you were there was World War III going on and you're trying to get out of your country. A few of these, trans, you know, basically changing into the local currency at your new location. You know, whoops. Oh, there's nothing in there. Uh-oh. Look at that, right? Oh, look at that. Look at that. There's, there's nothing in there, right? <laughs> what about the cash? You say, well, I can't just throw it in there. You know, if, if they ask me to take off my hat, well, there's, there might be a way around that, right? So maybe you're going to fold it up like that. All right. Well, you say, Sarge, but Sarge, you say, if I put cash up there, you know, it's going to get all nasty from sweat and rain and things like that. People aren't going to see it. Oh, really? Okay. So maybe you could wrap it in a little bit of waterproofing plastic. I don't know. You know, just think outside the box here, right? Your prepper, you gotta always be carrying some cash. You got to be carrying some cash. Maybe not a lot, right? And then you maybe you're gonna wrap it, right? Maybe you're gonna wrap it in some black electrical tape so that it's really hard to see if somebody takes a quick look at that hat. Right? Uh-oh, what's that? That's nothing. You know, you can't even see what it is. Maybe I'm gonna take my gold coins out here. All right. There you go, my friends. You, if you took a quick look at that. There you go, my friends. If you took a quick look at that, it's not going to show up, right? It's the Smuggler's Blues, my friends. There you go. Just giving you some ideas here. Again, follow your local laws. Don't get yourself into any kind of trouble. Look at that. Now imagine, you know, World War III situation. You want to get off the X. You want to get your family to safety. Now you got some options, right? And how much does, does all that weigh? Not much. Very, very easy to put on your head. All right, so what else could you do with this? Well, Wazoo Survival Gear sells all kinds of kit that, on their website, which I'm going to link in the description, and I will put in the pinned comments. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff, and they're constantly coming out with new, new gear. Uh, there's signal mirrors that could go in here. Uh, other companies make products that could easily fit into these pockets too. I've seen lock picks. I've seen uh, handcuff keys. I've seen all kinds of crazy stuff. There's actually a different version of this hat that has a uh, patch, a hook and loop closure there for, for a patch. And Wazoo Survival Gear also sells a patch that you can put all kinds of cool stuff in behind uh, in the patch. So you're actually adding another pocket, another layer to your, your cash cap, okay? I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you again to Wazoo Survival Gear for sending out this cap for me to review. We'll be showing you more stuff with this. I'm going to be showing you more stuff with the foraging bandana and the Viking whetstone and the fire starter necklace. So all kinds of goodies are coming. You want to stay subscribed so you don't miss a beat. Please check out Wazoo Survival Gear in the description and in the pinned comment. I will see you next time. Keep planting your seeds. Keep stacking your silver. This is Prepping with Sarge. <laughs>